Using Arduino, we can do automation with sensors. For example, we can use a two-dimensional ribbon sensor, light, and yes, even fire, cause why not? In this video, we're going to learn how. With Arduino, we can build our own custom MIDI controllers. For example, we can build an arcade and drum machine that's fraction of the price of commercial ones. Or we can build a unique one-of-a-kind instrument that doesn't exist in the market. We can build DIY instruments that are expressive and physically engaging for the performer. And it's visually engaging for the audience as well. So what is Arduino? Arduino is a microcontroller that can receive analog value from a sensor and converts it into a data that we can use for musical application. And Arduino is surprisingly easy to use. And the good news is, we're not doing any coding in this tutorial. We're learning how to use the tools that are available to us. I'm going to provide you with a tutorial that will help you get started and show where to go next. Our goal by the end of this video is to do a filter sweep using sensors. Okay, here's what we need to buy. Arduino. And not just any Arduino, we need Leonardo. We're using this type of Arduino because it can be directly recognized as a MIDI device as soon as we plug it into the computer. If you already have different Arduino, such as Uno for example, don't worry. I'll cover the extra steps that you need to follow. Sensors. So we can use anything from a knob to even a smoke sensor. We'll use a knob and light sensor for this video. Resistor kit if you're using the light sensor wires, and breadboard. And that's pretty much all we need for this tutorial. So, everything's very affordable. Okay, where should we begin? Let's start by connecting a sensor to the Arduino. When we Google image the name of the sensor with the word Arduino, we can get a nice diagram that we can recreate. So let's Google image knob Arduino, and there we have it. All right, let's connect. And because I'm too lazy to film the same exact thing, here's a footage of a tutorial from a few months ago. Gotta be efficient here. And roll the tape. Okay, for the breadboard viewers, we can reference this one. I'll quickly explain how breadboards work. This row is used for power. So we plug a red wire to the 5V on Arduino and plug the other end to any of the hole in this row. Now this whole row has the 5 volt running through it. And this row is used for the ground. So plug the black wire to the GND on Arduino and plug the other end to any of the hole in this row. Now this whole row has the ground running through it. These two rows are isolated from each other. This portion of the breadboard works in this direction, and each row is isolated from each other. So we should plug the knob in this orientation. Let's provide 5 volt to it. So get another red wire and plug it into any of the hole in this row where the power is running through. And plug the other end to any of the hole in this row. Do something similar with the ground. Grab a black wire and plug one end into any of the hole in this row. And plug the other end into any of the hole in this row. And finally, the middle part of the knob can be directly connected to the Arduino's analog input. Because this isn't a video on introduction to electronics, it's out of scope to explain about voltage, current, resistance, and all of that. So, all you need to know is that you connect the sensor to the Arduino as shown in these diagrams. And when you interact with... Okay, let's test this out. First, download the Arduino IDE, which is free. Okay, the next few steps will be boring, but they're easy to follow and we only need to do it once. Go to the GitHub link below and download the zip folder. Next, open up the Arduino IDE. In the toolbar above, go to Sketch, Include Library, Add.zip Library, and install the zip folder that we downloaded from earlier. Cool, we now have the code that is necessary in order to use Arduino as a MIDI device. Let's open it up. Go to Files, Examples, go down to Control Surface, go to MIDI Output, Potentiometers and Faders, and click multiple control change potentiometers. 
If you're not using Leonardo, then follow the next several steps. If you are using Leonardo, then skip to here. We need to set up the Arduino so that it can be recognized as a MIDI device when it's plugged in. Just a heads up, after following the steps that you'll be seeing next, your Arduino will only be recognized by the IDE software when these two pins are connected together. And when they're disconnected, your Arduino will only be recognized as a MIDI device. Nothing major, but I just wanted to let you know in advance, especially if you're planning on borrowing somebody's Arduino. Okay, please watch and follow this tutorial. I tried it myself and it was straightforward and worked perfectly. When you get to the part where you're required to connect the two pins together, you can get a wire with two sockets or female pins to do so. You can make a shorter wire by following my tutorial from few months ago. Okay, let's upload the code into the Arduino. And we only need to do this once unless you want to update the code in the future. For the Leonardo user, plug the Arduino to the computer and check here to see that it's being recognized. And click Upload. For the non-Leonardo user, make sure these pins are connected together and then plug in the Arduino to the computer. Check here to see that it's being recognized. Then click Upload. After it finishes, unplug the Arduino from the computer, disconnect these pins, and then plug in the Arduino to the computer again. Open up your DAW of choice. Mine's Ableton. First, go to the MIDI setting and turn Remote on for the Arduino MIDI input. And now here's the moment that we all have been waiting for. Let's map this to a cutoff frequency. Click MIDI here. Click the cutoff frequency, move your knob, and now it should be mapped. Let's test it out. And congrats! We can easily try out different sensors now. Because all analog sensors use the same analog inputs on Arduino, we can swap around or add more sensors very easily. And the code that we installed into the Arduino earlier will still work just fine. Let's add this light sensor. Okay, this diagram looks a little bit different from the one we saw for the knob, but it's only just one extra step. But first, unplug your Arduino. When wiring things together, it's a good idea to not have the Arduino powered. Okay, grab the photoresistor and connect one of the pins to power. It doesn't matter which pin we use. And connect the other pin to a 10k ohm resistor like this. And this row is for ground. This row is for the analog input 1. And plug the USB cable. Again, we don't need to change anything in the code. And now we can control sounds with light. Let's map the knob to resonance and the light sensor to the cutoff frequency. We can have maximum of 6 sensors total at once. As long as the sensor outputs an analog voltage that can be read by Arduino, we can use any sensors we want. We can buy these from Amazon, Adafruit, or SparkFun. Congrats! We learned how to map sensor data to musical parameters by using Arduino as a MIDI device. Okay, what's next? I have a tutorial about coming up with instrument ideas. I also recommend my video on foam board, which is a material that we can easily use to prototype. We build a DIY theremin in that video. And I'm planning on posting more videos about instrument designs, so if you're interested, please subscribe to this channel. I post weekly or bi-weekly. Okay, have fun making music with sensors. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.